I'm going to show you how to replace a fridge or freezer door seal on a Westinghouse fridge or similar fridges that have glued in door seals. So a glued in door seal is when you pull the seal back from behind and there's no screws or channel that it clips into. The seal is glued in behind this door liner here. So, I will show you what you need to do. First thing you need to do is find the model number of the fridge, which is located on a white sticker just inside the fridge right here. Um, that will have the model code. Once you have the model number, you can go on our website, type the model in, order the fridge seal that you need, and we can ship it straight to you. These are the tools you're gonna need. So you're probably going to need a putty knife or a flat blade screwdriver. Preferably a putty knife you can get from Woolworths or something. Steel and maybe a drill as well. So the first thing to do is make sure that the seal that we've sent you is the right size. So just unravel it. and hold it up to the original seal and just make sure you've got the right width and the top to bottom is the same as well and this looks great so time to remove the old seal the knife and I'm going to get it behind the door liner just like that and I'm going to slowly move the putty knife down to break the adhesive and glue that's holding the seal in place. Slowly go down. And you're going to want to do this around the entire fridge door. Just up to the top. Once you've done that around the entire door, you should then be able to remove the old seal with a bit of force. So I normally just lift the seal up and then just force it up just like that. And you'll see it pull out from behind the door channel. Just pull that over. And it just comes straight out from behind that, that door liner. And you're just gonna wanna go around the entire door. like that. Alright, so the old seal is off the door now. Just going to fold that up and keep it. And then I'm going to grab the new door seal. Just like this. I'm going to unravel it. Make sure it's straight. Alright, now the idea is on the back of the seal, there's like a hook or a lip right here that hooks in behind this door liner. So we need to hook that lip in all the way around. I like to start on the top corners, press them in so the seal can hang. And then I do the bottom corners and work my way into the middle. If you start from the top and slowly work your way down, you're going to stretch the seal and you'll be left with an extra 20 mil or something on the bottom. Um, so I'm gonna grab the screwdriver and I'm just gonna use that to help pry this door liner forward a bit. And I'm gonna get the new seal behind there and I'm just gonna tuck that lip in behind that door liner all the way around. It might take you five or 10 minutes to do it uh, make sure you lever the door liner forward to help you get that bead in behind there. So 
So just keep clipping it in. All right, the top is clipped in. It's looking good. Just gonna get this far apart quickly. All right, now I'm gonna work on the bottom so I don't stretch the seal. Um, when you're working on the bottom, it can be a little fiddly trying to get underneath there. That's why it is a good a uh, good idea to remove the door and lay it flat so you can get underneath the door. Um, I'm just going to pry that door liner forward a little bit and I'm going to get that hook just in behind that door liner. So. working my way into the middle if you find that the door liner is really tight make sure to use the screwdriver to lever it forward to break the, the glue and adhesive which will then make it a lot easier to get the seal behind the door liner just like that Alrighty. once you've clipped the seal in all the way around you want to test how strong the seal is being held down by that door liner. And this, this particular seal is being held down very tightly. So you won't need to put any screws underneath. You don't need to glue it. It's perfect just the way it is. Um, so that's pretty much it.